Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this super cool realistic metal mesh material in Unity HDRP I'm using 2021 so check our video so firstly I'm going to create and find my material and create the maps you can easily um, use the substance um, 3d materials from the dope account you can find the link in the description uh, they are for free when you sign up with some account I'll write down mesh and I would like to choose this one download the subsar and you can open it with the substance player you can download the substance player from uh, substance3d.adobe uh, for Windows and Mac you can find the link in the description then here you can easily adjust the, the material according to your needs I'm not going to spend time on this uh, we have another video for how to adjust the material in substance player the most important thing here I would keep it like this for our needs uh, di the different materials they have different things and options here programmed to play with the, the most important here is the maps over here up I'll just drag this thing here so super important is the opacity base n uh, normal and height these are the things that I'm going to do uh, to use mostly I would uh, make the output size here to let's say 4k 4000 pixels and my suggestion is if uh, your uh, video card is um, weak or not good enough then first to make the adjustments here in the treat in the viewport and finally to uh, set the output size then export bitmap here place the set folder here above um, I will by default is uh, Targa but I'll choose PNG later on you will see why this is important because PNG keeps the background layer as well as information here in the name if you hover you're going to see what all of this uh, percentage and uh, letter means I will keep um, here I'll name it mesh slash and then I'll keep the O and uh, press export after a few seconds I have my maps exported here mesh and the particular map in the name that's why I kept this O here uh, to know what is what if you're new in this and you can't recognize it by seeing it it's useful like to, re to have the name there so this is it these are the maps then in Unity here press the uh, right click create material I'll name it mesh and I'll drag my maps here as well I'll organize the bit right click create folder I'll write it mesh again and move all of this stuff over here okay so I'll drag this material the new material brand new from scratch over here so we can see all of the changes like this I will rotate this a bit so now it looks, looks like solid color and material I'll go here and take the opacity map and drag it here on the base map I can see that there is the placement if uh, it's here 
if you don't see anything or it's white it's because of the uv mapping for instance if you imported this geometry from another software usually this is the case then you need to choose usually planner i'll choose it here again you can adjust the scale here according to the size you need let's say something like this then the most important thing is here under surface options surface type to set it on transparent like this the next thing is to press here alpha clipping okay nothing happened why then go to photoshop and open the opacity map in photoshop here select the magic wand and select the white because we want the white to be seen to be the mesh and black to be the hole right click layer via cut and hide this layer and save this as png it's important i'll call it alpha yes yes back in unity drag and drop this alpha material here in the folder go to the material and drag and drop it here under base map look what is going to happen on the left voila whoa we have it so i'll make the material itself a bit grayish here we can see it's transparent and beside of that the program is taking it as a geometry not only as a map here on the, not only as a texture here you can see it on this um, orange lines then i would use its metal material i would use the same map here and i put it on the mask like this and here in the preview i can see that it's already reflecting the sky putting it into the mask it, it gave me these menus check this out without the mask there are no there are different menus options so here i'll then adjust this guy like this a bit this one a bit like this and the ambient occlusion like this i can check it here below and i can see here my reflection in the material okay we have it nice and shiny if i move this ball over here and if i bake here the reflections I'll bake them all. Refreshing pops. I can see. I can see it nice, reflective gray metal. This is the first part of the video, and in the second one, I'll show you how to have this not flat but have an edge and have this super cool fine detail how to achieve this stay with us if you enjoyed anything in the video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet click below and join us we have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.